Welcome to the tutorial. Do you know who hackers are? What do they do? What all are different types of hackers? Are hackers always notorious people? If not, this is the right video for you. In this tutorial, I'll introduce the well-known and lesser-known kinds of hackers you should know. This will help you understand what kind of protection you require for your system and who are the faceless criminals targeting your personal and business information. Before you become proactive for your safety, it is essential to understand what you are facing or fighting. And as always, watch this video till the end to answer a few questions based on the content of this tutorial. I used to image hackers as a notorious guy wearing a ski mask to hide his identity and used to be glued to his laptop to find the vulnerability in applications and use the same vulnerability to exploit for his personal advantage interests. However dramatic that may look, it holds no truth. People think hackers are negative people in the online world, but we all know there is more to the story. Just like there are good and bad guys in the real world with different shades of their personality, the types of hackers vary by their agenda, methodologies, and skill practice. 1. White Hat Hackers There are the right set of people who comes to our rescue on the dark web. White Hat Hackers, also known as ethical hackers, are the cybersecurity experts who help the government and organizations by performing penetration testing and identifying loopholes in their cybersecurity. They even do other methodologies and ensure protection from black hat hackers and other malicious cyber crimes. Simply stated, these are the right people who are on your side. They will hack into your system with the good intention of finding vulnerabilities and help you remove virus and malware from your system. 2. Black Hat Hackers These are the people I use to image. A black hat hacker is the type of hacker you should be worried. Black hat hackers are the culprit of a new cybercrime these days. While their agenda may be monetary most of the time, it's not always just that. These hackers look for vulnerabilities in individual PCs, organizations, and bank systems, using any loopholes they may find. They can hack into your network and get access to your personal, business, and financial information. 3. Gray Hat Hackers Gray Hat Hackers fall somewhere in between White Hat and Black Hat Hackers. While they may not use their skills for personal gain, they can, however, have both good and bad intentions. For instance, a hacker who hacks into an organization and finds some vulnerability may leak it over the internet or inform the organization about it. It all depends upon the hacker. Nevertheless, as soon as hackers use their hacking skills for personal gain, they become black hat hackers. There is a fine line between these two. So let me make it simple for you. Because a gray hat hacker doesn't use his skills for personal gain, he is not a black hat hacker. Also because he is not legally authorized to hack the organization's cybersecurity, he can't be considered a white hat either. So these were the most commonly known and referred hackers. But there is more. Let's learn a little more about the other types of hackers as well today. 4. Script Kitties A derogatory term often used by amateur hackers who don't care much about the coding skills. These hackers usually download tools or use available hacking codes written by other developers and hackers. Their primary purpose is often to impress their friends or gain attention. However, they don't care about learning. By using off-the-shelf codes and tools, these hackers may launch some attacks without bothering for the quality of the attack. Most common cyber attacks by script kiddies might include DOS and DDoS attacks. 5. Green Hat Hackers These hackers are the amateurs in the online world of hacking. Consider them script kiddies, but with a difference. These newbies have a desire to become full-blown hackers and are very curious to learn. You may find them engrossed in the hacking communities, bombarding their fellow hackers with questions. You can identify them by their spark to grow and learn more about the hacking trade. Once you answer a single question, the hackers will listen with undivided attention and ask another question until you answer all their queries. Six. Blue Hat Hackers These are another form of novice hackers, much like script kiddies, whose main agenda is to take revenge on anyone who makes them angry. They have no desire for learning and may use simple cyber attacks like flooding your IP 
with overloaded packets, which will result in DOS attacks. A script kitty with a vengeful agenda can be considered a blue hat hacker. 7. Red hat hackers Red hat hackers have an agenda similar to white hat hackers, which in simple words is halting the acts of black hat hackers. However, there is a major difference in the way they operate. They are ruthless when it comes to dealing with black hat hackers. Instead of reporting a malicious attack, they believe in taking down the black hat hacker completely. Red hat hacker will launch a series of aggressive cyber attacks and malware on the hacker that the hacker may as well have to replace the whole system. 8. State Nation Sponsored Hackers State or nation sponsored hackers are those who have been employed by their state or nation's government to snoop in and penetrate through full security to gain confidential information from other governments to stay at the top online. They have an endless budget and extremely advanced tools at their disposal to target individuals, companies, or rival nations. 9. Hacktivist If you've ever come across social activists propagandizing a social, political, or religious agenda, then you might as well meet Hacktivist, the online version of an activist. Hacktivist is a hacker or a group of anonymous hackers who think they can bring about social changes and often hack government and organizations to gain attention or share their displeasure over opposing their line of thought. 10. Malicious Insider or Whistleblower A malicious insider or a whistleblower may be an employee with a grudge or a strategic employee compromised or hired by rivals to garner trade secrets of their opponents to stay on top of their game. These hackers may take privilege from their easy access to information and their role within the company to hack the system. So here is the question. Which of the following is not a category of hackers? 1. Orange hat hackers 2. White hat hackers 3. Black hat hackers 4. Gray hat hackers Organization is facing unknown attacks on their web applications. They have recently identified that there are a few vulnerabilities in their web application. Which of the following type of professional hackers can help the organization list down other available vulnerability and suggest the remedies? 1. Green hat hackers 2. White hat hackers 3. Black hat hackers 4. Hacktivists Write down your answer in the comment section. We will share the answer once we receive 10 answer comments.